Hello there. Yo, what's up, Tio Nation? All right, so this is the first day of the showing of Transformers 1 here in the Philippines. It's Wednesday, September 18th, and yeah, uh, if you are wondering what I'm watching, it's uh, Alfonso Nation's uh, new video. It's uh, the creator versus the production designer of Transformers 1, so yeah anyway i'm gonna keep it short and uh yeah initially i planned to or we planned to actually collab again with uh actions do this but he's been very busy so yeah i'm not gonna go into details as to why but yeah he's been very busy after college so yeah he's done with college unlike me <sighs> i still have one more year and after that i i hope i'm done with college yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna head to the theaters, although I'm only gonna watch it on regular uh, cinema, 2D, because money, and plus I'm busy, so after I go home, do a quick reaction, quick review, and then just do my homework, theses, etc. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going with this guy right here. Yeah, he's my buddy that's going to come with me. Oh god. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh let's just let's just go. I'm gonna go into my local theater here, near here in our home, so yeah. Anyway. The tickets are expensive nowadays, huh? So yeah. Anyway, let's go. Let's a fucking Let's do this. Okay, so by far the best Transformers movie. This is the one that I needed. A few inches later. So I just got back home. Bro, this is the movie we've all been waiting for. For Transformers. For a Transformers movie, this is the movie we've all been waiting for. For this entire franchise. And yeah, I took this with me because I said to myself that since I have no one to watch it with, you know, um, Action Studios backed out because he was absolutely busy and it's totally understandable. But damn, bro, he missed out. Oh my god. I can't share this excitement with him. However, I talked about it with my one friend that I was uh, always with. You know, whenever I do toy hunts, there's this one friend that I uh, that I'm with uh, when we toy hunt on Mega Mall, etc. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, uh, he watched it at the same day as well, and almost at the same time as me. So we were able to talk it out through chat. This. Oh my god. I knew it. I didn't doubt for a second that I would absolutely love this movie. When I said that Rise of the Beast, or when Action Studios and I said that Transformers Rise of the Beast, or what? Transformers Rise of the Beast was peak and was the best Transformers movie. When I rewatched it over and over again, I was like, no, for me, Bumblebee is still the, the best for me. And then this came out transformers one is the origin story that i have been waiting for since you all know that i'm a stop motion animator and i've been doing uh, stop motion i did scripts for my stop motion after i go through college after watching this film there are some elements that i will include in my stop motion however it's going to be entirely different obviously it's going to be entirely different but yeah there are some elements there there are some plot points that are almost similar, almost the same as my script. It's the origin. Obviously, we all know what the origin is if you are a big Transformers fan. But, oh my god, as a regular moviegoer and as a film critique myself, this is cinema. This is peak cinema. This is absolute cinema. This is so peak. And I have no other... Uh, okay, here's the thing. There's just one minor nitpick. For me and my friend 
that we didn't actually like but i feel like they're gonna explore it more in the sequels hopefully they do because that's a question that we want to answer as well but that's beside the point anyway other than that the film is perfect the film is absolutely perfect the animation is gorgeous it's so beautiful the aesthetics the filmography like this the cinematography throughout this film is absolutely astonishing this is peak entertainment as a transformers fan myself i am absolutely mind blown josh cooley the director of this film absolutely nailed it brian tyler the music scorer the oh my god the one who did transformers prime brian tyler the goat himself the soundtracks were so good oh my god and then optimus prime okay let's talk about optimus prime first i'm not gonna go into megatron first because to me megatron is the best of this film the 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 reviews the critics weren't lying that megatron d16 is the best in this entire film however let's talk about optimus prime first our or orion pax orion pax throughout this film i thought he was going to be this super arrogant he is arrogant but i didn't think that they would actually uh implement uh him as this curious orion pax that we know because that's actually the real origin of orion pax he is a clerk he is a nerd <laughs> so i was so surprised that i included that but they didn't make him a nerd he's more like a geek out you know he's always geeking out and he is full of curiosity like that's orion pax and that's the orion pax that i know in the origins and they implemented that so well i'm not gonna spoil more but yeah they did orion pax's character justice and then when he transformed into optimus prime bro the transformation the juxtaposition oh my god bro this is so peak i'm not gonna spoil that but yeah anyway uh just go see it and then megatron d16 is the best of this entire film I'm gonna go through the voice cast later, the voice acting. But Megatron D16, his twist of fate, his twisted character throughout this film is very understandable. Like, I don't understand why people were criticizing that uh, his transformation from being uh, a neutral good guy to being this twisted evil Megatron that we know now, you know? um people were criticizing that that it was way too fast or way too off as to why he was twisted that way i understand that now i understand that megatron's twist was like that because he was just naive at the time you know and i like megatron's character or d16's character and then when he found out something throughout this film his uh, point of view changed drastically and it is now the Megatron we know and that to me is oh my god that's so peak and then the brotherhood of Megatron and Optimus Prime or Orion Pax and D16 their brotherhood was so tragic I actually teared up I'm not kidding I actually teared up when I saw that particular scene that one scene where Megatron's betrayal towards orion pax was so impactful we can actually see megatron as a character now wow i didn't expect megatron's prime to be actually you know what i'm not gonna spoil into that but yeah that's a different take on this origin story which is pretty good actually you know it's a pretty interesting take it's a unique take as well from the origins that i know uh sentinel prime oh my god <laughs> Sentinel Prime did not even realize that he is that of a character. We all know Sentinel Prime in Dark of the Moon, and let's apply that here in Transformers 1, you know? Bro, oh my god, I think I prefer the Sentinel Prime a lot more. He, yeah, but I think we all know now, you know, the trailers and stuff, we all saw that. He's with the Quintesson, so yeah, he's the bad guy. We all know that right now, right? I'm not gonna spoil more, but yeah. He's a great villain, to be honest. Like, I prefer the Sentinel Prime a lot more. His character is so great. And B-127, Bumblebee, um, I actually like him. Uh, he's not really annoying, but yeah, he's a comic relief. He's a comedy. He's the comedy of this film, and I actually love And I actually love it. Elita 1. Elita 1. Bro, she is... She's 
she's the female oh, that I want from Transformers. Oh my God, bro. She is a power. She's a power girl. <laughs> like she, she's a baddie, bro. Alita won. And I love the relationship and dynamic between Orion Pax and Alita One throughout this film. Their dynamic, their relationship from, oh, dude, oh, jeez, bro. I can't spoil it, but that is so good. Um, it's more of a platonic relationship. It's not romantic that we know from the comics, etc. the cartoons, the animations. Yeah, uh, because it's still an exposition of this uh, origin story so i think we'll go into that later on in the sequels if they do so so yeah and then the voice cast everything is perfect i i kind of doubted chris hemsworth at first but then all throughout the film i was like oh damn i can feel optimus prime now that's not chris hemsworth that's optimus prime and i feel that now i now understand the the movie reviewers the critics are saying that oh yeah his transformation is Optimus Prime's voice is perfect. That's actually so good. And then, yeah, D16 Megatron's voice, Brian Tyree Henry delivered. Bro, oh my god. Uh, at first, people were like disappointed about Brian Tyree Henry's voice in the trailers. And then when I saw the second trailer, oh, that's the Megatron that I know. And then when I saw the movie, yep, I didn't doubt any longer. Brian Tyree Henry delivered. He's the GOAT as Megatron. That's so good. Yeah, B-127, Bumblebee's voice is great. And Alita 1, bro, she... Uh, Scarlett Johansson did so well as Alita 1 as well. I love the voice cast, every single one of them. And Sentinel's voice, Alpha Tryon. Oh my god, the origin of the Primes. They, delved, they dived right into it. And the Prime... And Primus, the creator... The Cybertron, you know, the Matrix. Oh my god. I can't believe this. They went through the archives as well. And, oh, jeez. I love this film so much. This is the movie that I've always wanted. Thank you for this film. This is the film that we've all been waiting for as Transformers fans. And if you're just a regular moviegoer and are curious about Transformers, and if you want to see it with your kids... Go watch this film. Although there are some scenes that are brutal. I did not expect that at all. Like, <laughs> damn. It's a reference to uh, Transformers 1. The, the Michael Bay film. Transformers 2007. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I did not expect that. It's a bit of a reference. Maybe it is a reference to that one. <laughs> when Megatron ripped Jazz. Yeah. The, <laughs> I want two pieces yeah <laughs> yeah that one yeah that that wow <laughs> okay yeah enough about enough about me i think that's about it uh yeah i'm gonna give this film a 10 out of 10 it's a solid film like god damn Liar! there are some minor gripes but i feel like they just left it on purpose so i think i'm not gonna criticize about that more if they're gonna build this franchise more I feel like there's more room to it. So there are two credit scenes. One is a joke uh, from the earlier scene of the film. And then one is where it's uh, it's a new age of something. So yeah, a newborn legacy. And history is about to be made in Cybertron. So yeah, that's a very important scene. And if you're a Transformers fan, so yeah. I loved it. Uh, Starscream's voice as well is perfect. And then uh, Soundwave and Shockwave, <laughs> great. Soundwave's voice, I think it's John Bailey, right? The epic voice guy, yeah. He did Soundwave as well from Bumblebee movie. Yeah, it's perfect. Everything about this film is perfect, bro. Like I said, the, okay, I'm gonna say it. The minor grab that I had is the Quintessence. I think we need more story into the Quintessence. They're just there. Like, we know them as the bad guys, but why are they the bad guys you know like we need to know more i think that's only the minor grip that i had but yeah anyway um uh, arachnid i didn't think would play a huge role but yeah she did anyway yeah thank you guys so much for watching i think that's about it for this film review and reaction it's so peak the transformation of megatron and optimus prime was the best out of all this sequences of the film i think yeah and 
you know, the betrayal scene and the transformation of them both is the best throughout this film. The third act is the best of the bunch. Like, the first and second act paid off to the third act of this film. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I think I'll do... I think I will watch this again on Sunday and then we'll do a toy hunt on... I feel like there's an event in Mall of Asia. I hope so. So, yeah. Anyway, see you guys then. Peace out.